Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Tatiana McQueen. Today's video is a brow tutorial. I am going to do a thorough talk through. I'm going to try to explain as much as I can how I do my eyebrows. These are um, all of the products that I'll be using in this video. I'm going to list them down in the description box below. And yeah, let's get into it. I like to start off with one eyebrow first and then try to make the other eyebrow look like that. So, I always start from the bottom. And I try to do like a, kind of like a, a, a mini arch. Like a mini arch. Because... I kind of trace. Cause when I think when I do my eyebrows, I always think about like I have a hooded eye and a regular eye. <laughs> if you don't know what that is, you gotta go look it up. Go look it up. Anywho, I always have to think about my eyeshadow. I don't have to take my eyeshadow up and all that. So I don't. Want, I never want my eyebrows to be too low. I have to make sure I give myself enough eye space to do my eyeshadows and stuff. So, like I said, I start from the bottom. Like that, that whole nose, like where my nose at, what, what time, where my nose curve in it, I just go like right there. And that's where I start. And then, I go on the outer edges, where, like I said, my tip, you know what I'm saying, my arch. And then I kind of, me, my eyebrows, my eyebrows actually go just straight across right here, then they go down. But I like that, mm, you know, I like that, that structure and stuff, like all that in my face. So I try to bring out as much as I can. I like for mine to go like that. At the front, I don't want like my front to be harsh. So what I do, I do this at the end, kind of when I'm already done with my whole face, but I do it now so y'all can get an idea of what I'm talking about. I like to, I like, that's what another reason why I like this, because it has a spoolie brush on the end, and I kind of like brush out that to give it that like transition, that fade, and I, I like for it to fade and look natural. Like. Like I said, I could use my brow pencil or I could do brow pomade, which in my videos, like I said, when you see my eyebrows, I've done both. So what I'll do, I'll get a little bit of the brow pomade and I'll put that on the edges, like on the, on the outer end. About to right, like about to right there. And then I get my pencil in the middle and go about right there to the front. And I, I, I'm not having a heavy hand while I'm doing all this either. Not a heavy hand. And like I said, at the front, I just kind of Brush it out a little bit to give it that, you know, that look as if I've, you know, it. So, what I'll do now, I will get my concealer. What I like doing with my concealer is I'll get a concealer around the shade of my skin tone, my skin tone and I'll carve the top out with that. And the bottom, the bottom concealer, I'll probably use like something light because I'm probably going to do an eyeshadow look or like if I'm trying to be really, really natural, if I want to look really, really, really natural, I use the same concealer around the, you know, the same color of my skin tone. So I, I don't have that big, you know, halo looking look or whatever. 
But like I said, whatever works for you, whatever works for you, this is what works for me. This concealer, you don't need a lot. I hope this camera don't die while I'm trying to do this. I'm just carving it out. to get my shape i want to add a side note some people use foundation to carve out the top part of their brows just so they can ensure that they don't have that halo brow and that's that's fine but i use concealer and the whole time i'm carving out my brows i'm just trying to make sure i stay as close to my brows as possible i get a um a fluffy but a fluffy brush it doesn't matter what type of fluffy brush you have but it needs to kind of be a little dense and that's what I buff out my concealer with. Okay. And then I go under my brow, like I said. My favorite concealer to use with, like, I don't use an eyeshadow base. You can. It's nothing wrong with it. But I like using the LA Girl Pro Concealer. This is in the shade Fun. And I don't put a lot. Just a little bit. That's all I need. I need to have a squeeze them. And I start to carve out. Try to bring it down because I don't want to get on up in there. I don't want no, like, no signs of concealer that did not get blended out. I'm going back with my dense fluffy brush. Me, um, I still see some concealer. It's not been blended. It's pretty much my brow. This is pretty much how I do my brows. So as you can see, you see a major difference between this brow and that brow. This brow has not been touched at all, and this is the brow that I've done. Or I have to go on top of my brows with my 24 hour brow setter. It's like a gel. And it dries really fast. I put some of the product, like I make sure some of the product gets on the brows and then I use the spoon on it. And I brush my brows up, which really helps because y'all saw how this brow looked. It, before I did this and my hair is like some of these places like if I was to zoom in some of the places in my brow where there's product like well wherever I put the brown stuff at there's actually no hair right there <laughs> so I have to brush my brow hairs up to make it look like it's hair right there so like I said we're not deceiving anybody like you know, we got eyebrows, it's just, this is just, you know, we're just enhancing our eyebrows. <laughs> but yeah, so this is pretty much my brow tutorial. This is how I do my eyebrows. And um, yeah, I'm gonna do my face, I'm gonna beat my face, and then I will end the video. So I hope you all like this brow tutorial. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And all the products that I use will be listed down below. 
Um, yeah.